One of the most exciting new platforms in Jump Pro 19 is the Bayesian Optimization Platform. Before going into it, first let's think about how Jump users optimize products and processes in Jump. We collect some data, either with a starting design or pulling data from a database. It can take a lot of time and resources to get enough data that we can trust the models that we're working with. But once we do trust them, we go into the profiler to optimize those models. Now, wouldn't it be faster if we could use the profiler earlier in that process to have it make use of all the information in the data as well as our project goals early on when we have as few as maybe two data points and have the profiler recommend combinations to try next that simultaneously improve model fit while driving us towards our solution? The framework that makes that possible is called Bayesian Optimization, an integrated modeling and data augmentation scheme that learns from the responses as we acquire more information. The name sounds fancy, but the barrier to entry knowledge-wise is a lot lower than you might think. There are no hypothesis tests, there's no p-values, there's no need to specify interactions or curvature terms because the response surface emerges directly from the data itself. If the data have aliased effects or multicollinearity, Bayesian optimization will just tell us an intelligent way to break that data defect at the next step. Many of the complexities of dealing with mixtures and constrained regions also just disappear with Bayesian optimization. Here's a simple example using a simulated version of the familiar tire tread sample data set. We want to maximize the abrasion response while matching a target on the elong one by adjusting three input variables. The original data has 20 runs, but here we will start with just five runs from a Latin hypercube design. We bring up the platform and we see that the abrasion response is fitting poorly. We also see a run chart of the observed desirability scores. They are all near zero, so none of these starting runs are anywhere close to solving our problem. The platform automatically recommends a space filling run to improve the model fit. We can save the recommended run and proceed. When we get the response for that new run, we find that it improves model fit and also has superior response values. I'll quickly go through the next few iterations, but as we go, watch the run chart that tracks our progress. The platform starts replicating at the 13th run. This indicates that we have solved the optimization problem in seven fewer runs than the original data set. This is very promising. To all of you familiar with modeling and jump, the best way to describe this platform is that it is a Bayesian optimization based augmentation built directly from the jump profiler in all its generality. It directly inherits the ability to do response guided, goal oriented run selection for any continuous response optimization problem solvable by the profiler. This includes multiple responses, constrained input regions, disallowed combinations, arbitrary combinations of continuous, ordinal, and nominal variables. You can also lock factors and change the ranges of variables by adjusting the axis, and then just ask for where to look next given the new input space. By working directly with the Jump Profiler and improved algorithms for Gaussian process models, we've eliminated as much of the cumbersome statistical machinery that gets between you and the solution to your product or process innovation as much as we possibly can. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.